In this video, I will be explaining an adorable, but also scary entity from the Trevor Henderson lore. It's known as the Lil Nugget, and it's just the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. Kind of. It's also kind of gross. Anywho, let's get into the video without further ado, and let's continue the journey to explain every single Trevor Henderson creature. The Lil Nugget is a cute and docile creature that is the offspring of another Trevor Henderson creature named Big Charlie. These nuggets are the flesh that falls off of Big Charlie. They come in all different shapes, all different sizes, and even different colors. Now these little nuggets only stay docile and passive for so long. Eventually, they might turn into something else called the lamb, but more on that later. So what is Big Charlie, and why are so many little nuggets falling off of him like dead skin? Let me explain. So Big Charlie is a large mammal-like creature that looks like some sort of giant grotesque cow. But instead of a snout at the end of its face, there's a beak-like apparatus. Charlie is a skinny entity, all things considered, and you can see his ribs and bones sticking out from inside its body. There's a dark, thick mane of fur that goes from the top of its head to the back of its body, and the eyes of the entity seem to be foggy and glazed over. It's around 20 to 30 feet tall, according to most encounters, and it seems that Big Charlie is some sort of amalgamation of different farm animals that escaped a meat processing plant. And that's why it looks like a bunch of different animals. Cows, chickens, and pigs, and other things. So where do these little nuggets come into play here? Hello, all you people. I have an important announcement. This is not a sponsor, so don't click away. I've started a brand new podcast with four other YouTubers. These YouTubers, you probably know them. They are Dire Trip, Fox Akimbo, Raymundo2112, and Night YT here on YouTube. She's so cute for an Asian girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, like, oh, if, yeah. I, like, I spend time with like autistic goths. I, I, I'd immediately be bricked up. To but I, I, I would cave. This this table's rising five inches after that. I mean, like, dude. If if you no, know, bro. Listen. All of us are in this like internet horror, internet mystery, true crime kind of vibe here on the YouTube. And we all went to VidCon last year and met up with each other. And we decided that it would be good to make a podcast together to just have fun with. We do a wide variety of things over on that channel. It's called the. NBR, the Nightmare Blood Rotation Podcast. If you want to see all of us just goofing around, talking about crazy things, talking about funny things and serious things too, you'll really enjoy it over there. I'm sure, I know we have a lot of fan overlap. Um, I know all of us do, so go check it out. Go subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine, but I just wanted to let you know the podcast is up. Several episodes are already up. Go check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now back to what y'all actually clicked on the video for. One of Big Charlie's anomalous features is is that he sheds his skin kind of like a snake his skin is really rough and a leathery flesh-like material and it naturally drops off of him in random places while he walks around whether it's him running up against a tree whether it's him just walking there's gonna be flesh falling off now the weird thing is about this flesh is that when it does fall off it turns into these little sentient nuggets the nuggets have their own consciousness and their own agency so they're not brainless little guys they do whatever they want to Charlie himself is very docile and calm and almost playful, even though he's 20 plus foot tall and kind of scary. He's been described as having a funny personality by witnesses. So it makes sense that the nuggets that fall off of him are also the same way. Appearance of the nuggets. Little nuggets are small, fleshy, four-legged beings with huge oval-shaped heads and two big ol' eyes on the front of their face. Now, they don't always have to have two, but their eyes do look like giant googly eyes. These nuggets look like slices of meat that have four little legs that walk around, and they have the same consistency of moist slabs of meat. They usually are around the size of a small to medium jar, just a few inches tall at max, which lends them to be very not scary. Their legs are just tiny little nubs that they used to walk around on, but also not every single little nugget is going to be the same physically. Some of them are unique shapes and sizes or facial features or have a bunch of eyes or something else. Additionally, every little nugget is allegedly male, and they just reproduce by regenerating more and more of themselves. You see, if a leg or an arm or something of a little nugget falls off, another nugget will make itself happen from that nugget. It's like an infinite creation cycle, kind of like those little marshmallow men from Ghostbusters. Behaviors and Origins 
The behaviors of these nuggets have been described as playful and investigative, and they're just very curious, and they really like to explore a human's house, kind of like a house rat or something. The nuggets like to get into people's pantries and explore their foods and ingredients that they have. They can actually be tamed with food as well, but you shouldn't give them too much food because of what they could turn into, and I'll explain that later, but if they're left to their own devices just to eat whatever, they will completely clear your pantry out. They'll eat everything. Most people who encounter little nuggets will hear something rattling in the back of their pantry or in their house, and when they go to investigate, they'll see these little fleshy meat creatures staring back at them with those big old googly eyes. The nuggets really enjoy peanut butter and other things like crackers and packaged foods and just really crunchy snacks. That kind of sounds like me, to be honest. Now, there's two subgenres of little nuggets called void nuggets and meat nuggets. Both of them have different abilities and properties from the little nugget I explained, but they're kind of similar. Anyways, all of these nuggets are not very strong. So if you hit one or smack one, it'll make it go flying away. However, they can regenerate more little nuggets if their body parts fall off, like I said earlier. They seem to have inherited that from Big Charlie. If there is a lot of little nuggets regenerating, it could become more dangerous because they could be like a big pack of them going wherever and completely raiding pantries. Now, I'm sure the question you've been asking the whole time is, can you eat a little nugget? And the answer is, yeah, probably, but also no. Trevor Henderson himself says that they would taste sour and could have harmful effects if ingested. But I mean, it's just a living slab of meat. You could probably just throw it into a pan, season it up with some butter and some parsley, and you could probably cook it. But these guys are too cute. I, I don't think I could bring myself to cook one. Many people have tamed little nuggets to keep them as pets. And when they do that, they actually act like dogs. Very passive, usually, until they eat too much. Once they eat too much, they turn into the lamb. Now, I'm gonna explain that right now. The lamb is a large pink and fleshy entity with a huge hole in its head where a face and eyes and mouth should be. This is what the little nuggets will turn into if they consume enough calories to cause the transition. Essentially, it looks to be just a huge, gross, extended version of the nugget. The legs of the lamb hang down from its body like noodles and it can't stand on them, so instead, it floats around. It's a very powerful entity and it's very vindictive and it oftentimes hunts down and consumes people who have committed crimes and atrocities from real life. And it does this using its very, very powerful abilities. It seems that the lamb has several psychic abilities that could control the mind of its human victims. It can cause hemorrhages and brain damage and blood clots and seizures just by being in the vicinity of a human. It does this in order to inflict pain on people that it thinks deserves it. Like I said, the lamb floats around and it's very, very, very aggressive, especially if it doesn't like you. So if you encounter an instance of the lamb, you need to run the opposite way before it causes a blood clot or a seizure or something, and you need to get out of its vicinity so it can't see you or be near you. If you tame the little nugget and it eventually it turned into a lamb, they typically will not attack you because they realize that you were nice to it. So they'll kind of go on to somebody else, which is good, and it means to always be nice to every little nugget you see. But yeah, that was the complete internet horror history of the little nugget. From Big Charlie, to the little nugget, to the lamb, that was everything. And this is honestly one of my favorite creatures from Trevor Henderson. I love it, very cute, very quirky, and I think that a lot of creatures that are like this are fan favorites. So hopefully you liked it too. If you did find yourself enjoying the video, drop a like. And if you really, 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 really enjoy the video, drop a subscribe. I do like three or four of these a week. How bad could it be? It's free, you know? With all that yapping out of the way, I will end the video here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.